people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you liked my last little video and I apologize that it wasn't an actual how-to video. It was just me showing you some of my um, amazing, I'm in love with it, the alcohol ink paintings and stuff. So with that, we're going to have one of those videos coming up soon. But today we're going to do some UV resin jewelry. So <clears throat> I've got my stuff together. I'm excited. We're going to use what came in my kit from Let's Resin and some of Laura's glitters and we're going to get into this. So I'm going to just bring you right on down. We're just going to go into this guys. Let's get in here. So I've gone through some of my jewelry stuff. I'm just going to see about bringing you closer here. There we go. Bring it down a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Hello. So this is the kit that I have. So go check that out. It has every single thing you'll need to start, except for a pair of pliers. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got this little tickle today. So, so what I'm using under my kit is I've got my mold. I've got my my light of course oh and the other thing is you need a cord not a cord a um a little plug-in that you plug it into so those are the only two things you need out of the kit that doesn't come with it so my brain i've got so many like i said i did jewelry for a long time so i've got so many things kicking around so i have these which are angel wings so i've got little wee ones and I've got big ones. So we're going to put these inside a couple of my pendants. So I thought I would put a little layer of UV on the bottom. And then we would put them in. And I don't know. I personally think they should go this way. Right? But I've seen some people where they have them this way. So maybe we'll do one of each. One one way, one the other way, but I still like them this way, so I'm probably going to do them that way. So each one has a little, um, a little clip so that you can attach it to something, a little ring. So we're going to take that ring off. I got a pair of little uh, wire cutter pliers from Jewelry. I'm just going to put it on the edge and I'm going to cover it. Always cover it, guys, because it's still flu, even though I had it covered. You don't want to poke someone in the eye, because that wouldn't be good. So I'm going to get that and just make sure it's looks good. Perfect. So I'm going to give this just a little bit of a shake. And I see a little bit in there. So what I'm going to do is take some of my tape, trusty, dusty tape, and we're going to get into that get all of that out and in my thoughts i'm going to do a thin layer to embed just enough to put those in of my uv resin which comes in my kit this stuff is amazing and i've used it you can't tell where it is in it but it does not take a lot guys to do let me just there we go. I'm going to get a wet one. I'm going to get one of these wet ones. And I'm just going to wipe off my lid because it's very sticky. There we go. I don't want to take the whole lid off. So what I'm going to do is... My hand is now wet. There we go. It was on there pretty good. There. And it's good to clean everything, guys, as you use it instead of letting it uh, build up with stuff. And then it gets sticky and gross. There we go. Perfect. So what I'm going to do, and with our leftovers, we're going to do that. So what I'm going to do is put a layer down the bottom. Do this in two parts. I 
because I want to make sure that there's enough in there to completely embed these guys because we're going to come back in. One, we're going to do some of these amazing Wedding Day Bliss from... This is not Wedding Day Bliss. <laughs> this is Mirror Mirror from Laura's Art Corner. And we're going to use the Funfetti, which is the base... Basically, it's the same idea, but it's a pink version of a chunky mixed glitter. So we're going to put that in the background. And I'm going to make sure I've got everything... Want it to go in there. Wanna pop bubbles? It's hard to when I when I used to do the UV resin, the only way I popped the bubbles was with a um, toothpick. course Sherry doesn't see a toothpick anywhere to be found on my table I tell you guys I am oh here we go I have everything you can think of but I can't find it half the time okay so I'm just going to use a toothpick and you want to be careful you don't want to scratch your mold right but you don't want to leave those bubbles either so I'm going to try and pop each one I don't know if I can use. Sorry, that's my. Oh my goodness, you gotta get ready for work. I don't know, guys. Maybe what I'll do, I'm gonna place these guys in first. And then I'll worry about the bubbles. We're going to go one, two, <clears throat> excuse me. them together and even and these ones maybe we'll put them a little further apart I personally think these would be too big for a pair of earrings but actually maybe we'll do them this well they're going to be two different colors of glitter anyway so it don't matter And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to make sure, I'm just going to wipe my, keep them nice because all my other ones, all my tweezers have stuff on them. So I'm going to just cover it. Here, let me just see if my, if I can bring you in a little more. Oh, it's working today. There we go. And where are you? Well, bring it this way and there you are. Almost awesome, guys. So I'm going to just cover it up. Because I want to make sure that the actual wings themselves are covered. And as far as the glitter background, you do not need a lot. You just want enough to cover it and dome it. Awesome. Now let me just... <sighs> let me get this even. I have a this line of the, the grain of the wood and I'm trying to line it up so that my wings are both the same. All right, there we go. So now I just want to come around the edge. There we go. I don't know guys. Perfect. So now I'm going to use my UV light. I will do one hit, one hit. That just sounds funny. And I will be back in a second when it's cured, guys. I'll see you in a second. 
Okay, so they are cured. That looks so cute. So now I'm going to mix up a little bit of resin in here. And if I got leftovers, I've got my little wee UV resin molds that I got from Michael's. We'll put them in that. I want just enough that I can mix my glitter and give a back coat. All right. Go. Again, like I said, I'm using Laura's Funfetti and Mirror Mirror. So we're going to do the Funfetti. Mix it up, mix it up because it's chunky and fine. So give it a little bit of a mix so you get all of the loveliness. And we're going to do two scoops. And the same with the mirror mirror. Give it a good shake because you want it to also. And we're going to do one, two. Actually, maybe I'll do three in that one. There we go. Use my little stick and we're going to give it a stir. And we're going to dump it on. Gonna let it do its thing. I'm going to mix up the other one and do the same. Just give it a mix. <clears throat> I'm just going to try to bring it to the edge. Oh, it's got that nice doming already. I don't need to do too much with that one. I just want to mix, bring it down so it gets into that end down here. You can kind of still see the, like the glitter's not, like I can still see the wings, but that's fine. I actually have to kind of like that. And let's get this guy. I need just a little bit more coming down this way. That mirror, mirror, I do not see any of the wings. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to take these off here. We're going to do probably two or three. When I did the other one, I did two hits, hits, two, two taps of my light. <laughs> and then now we're going to do this one and we're going to do it again. We'll probably do another, probably do three because that's a little thicker. So here we go, guys, and I'll be back when it's cured. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I did two of them, and they're cured. Oh my goodness, that looks so pr so pretty. Now, the side is a little sticky, so I'm going to do this. And I'm going to try to cure on... Oh, I like it better with the white. See, for some reason, the bottom is all sticky. So we're going to do another one with that and see if it works. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna stick, maybe, the, yeah, we'll figure that out. I'll see you in a second, guys. Okay, so I did cure it, but my thoughts are, it's domed on the back. I want it, oh my goodness, I want it domed on the front. 
So, sorry, I have zoomed you in, my apologies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna take some more UV resin and I want to bring you this way, sorry, so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna dome the top and then do a, a two hit cure and I think we'll be good. Just be mindful of the hole. So now I'm gonna take my skewer my silicone skewer and just try to bring it. Well, you know what? It does go on its own, but I'm gonna tr try to help it to the edge without it going over. And I'm not too worried, like I'm going to bring it up to the top, but I don't want to go anywhere near where that hole is. So I want to make sure that I can get my jump rings in there, right? Sure, and I'm going to the edge without breaking that. Because once you break that, it is gone over the edge. And I can come almost right to that hole. The hole's right there. A little bit more on this side here. Oh, and this one did it beautifully. Let me just... And again, it gives it that nice depth. Your, it pops that glitter even more. And it's a little uneven, oh my goodness. It's kind of, you want to make sure you get it done now. Allowed. <laughs> this is probably the tedious part of it all, guys, isn't it? There you go. Okay, so I'm going to do another um, probably two with my light and I'll see you guys in a second or two. Okay, they are cured. Oh my goodness. They turned out pretty. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just noticing, I'm hoping that that didn't uh, affect it. I've got two little jump rings here. That also came in the kit. I've got my tools. My other tools are upstairs, so I'm just using what I have here, guys. Just remember when you go to open them, don't twist. Just do a basic twist. I'll show you. I got two different. Look at these tiny little things. Oh my goodness, they're so small. You just do a basic 
twist. Hopefully this will be able to go in. That's what I was looking at. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me see if I've got... A little tool. I thought I had a little metal tool. Oh, here we got a little bit of a. Nope, that's not it either. Okay, let's try the other one. The hole kind of went in the back. And there we go. So we got that jump ring on there. Right. Now we're going to close it up. Oh my goodness, I got furs on my little tool. There we go. It's not. There you go. You want to make sure it's closed. And what I like to do, if, well, it probably isn't going to stay there, but I like to take where the junction is and put it inside the hole. And then we take one of the chains, one of the necklaces that came with the kit. You can feed that in there through there. And you have yourself a necklace. That is actually quite adorable. Now I have to find something to poke the hole. Maybe my tweezers, I don't know. Oh, it did, okay, there we go. So again, we're gonna do the same with, I keep forgetting, we'll have to bring it back this way. Let's do one little twist. We will do. There we go. Let me just, oh my goodness. That's weird. It went in on this side, but it wouldn't go. Th what is with that? That's funny here. Let me, let me try the tweezers again. See? There's a chunk of that glitter. <laughs> That's funny because the glitter's chunky. I think it was a piece of the glitter that was stuck in there. Okay, there we go. Let's hopefully this works. Come on. See, every. I tell you guys. I don't know. That is so funny how it went through with the other one. There we go. It just needed a little bit of manipulation. And look how bent that jump ring is. Let me get another one. Look at how distorted that is. That's crazy. Okay. Get another one. You're still in there? Awesome. Okay. Please cross your fingers, guys. Please, please, please. That is so weird. Is it because I opened it too much, maybe? It's the same mold, the same jump ring. weird. There we go. There was just something. That's weird. It was catching on something. I don't know. There we go. Close up the jump ring. And I like to maneuver it so it goes down. Use the little guy. 
there you go, so that the, the joint of the ring is inside the hole. There we go. That is pretty cool. I think they both turned out oh, amazing. So now I'm going to give you a, a little bit of a tip. So on the back of this, I don't know if you can see it, probably should have flipped it over and UV'd it this way, but I took it out. We domed it anyway, so that's fine. But if you want to get rid of this, it's sticky, sticky. Same with this. I cured it while I was curing it. Does that, I, I put it under the light while I was doing the curing. So what I'm going to do, we'll do like this and that will help cure your mold. And I had the same thing happen here on this one as well. And I'm going to do that with that. So I just thought I'd throw that little tip there before we're done. I'm not going to do it right now, but that's that. So I'm going to put my necklaces on and I'll show you guys. Give me just a second. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed these. They turned out adorable. Glittery. Oh my goodness, my thing just stuck to me. Glittery. Beautiful. The pink one matches my little outfit. <laughs> so with that, my amazing people, I hope you enjoyed today's little jewelry video. Like my nails. I don't know. I think the guy, every nail is a different color. Every time he sees me, I'm surprised he doesn't run away. I keep getting the same fella, so it's kind of funny. But anyways... Long story short, hope you enjoyed today's short, sweet little video using my, again, my Let's Resin UV Jewelry Kit. So with that, I'm going through my long spiel, guys. Hope you enjoy your day. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing, hitting that bell up in there for notifications. So when I put my next video up, you will be notified. So with that, in the description box, I have everything that I used here today will be linked along with the links to where to purchase TriArt Liquid Glass. Also the link where to purchase <clears throat> Julie Cuts' molds. Also where to purchase um, molds and shapes molds. Also, I have the link in there to um, Let's Resin. Don't forget, use my discount code, Sherry, Mold, Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. Also, I have the links to Let's, even though I said Let's Resin, <laughs> I have too many things, Crystal Resin. I have my new discount code is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. Also, I have the links to the two amazing Lares distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. She's got many more things other than Lares. She's probably got some amazing glitters as well. Uh, my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru, uh, my American Lares distributor where I got these glitters today. Check out her website with my discount code of all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. Also, I have my Amazon affiliate links. If you choose to buy, it helps out my channel. And I have my PayPal if you choose to donate. So with that, my amazing people, my long-winded exit, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. And <laughs> the button doesn't work. Bye, guys. Love you guys.